Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to take a look at two new mods. Now, well, one mod that's new and one mod that's a re-release of a previous mod so it's now compatible with 2.0. So first, let's check out mod number one, Colorful Inventories, which actually was custom inventory colors originally on the name and now it's Colorful Inventories. As you see, it doesn't look like anything's going on. But if we go into options and go to mods and scroll down, and I have a lot of mods, so it takes a moment to scroll down. You see, inventory color customization. Normal item color, default blue. Exo suit arms color, default purple. Water floor color, default blue. You know, we have certain item types that have different color backgrounds, but maybe you don't want that. Maybe you want to change the normal one. Maybe you say, you know what? I want the creatures, see like all these are default blue. Maybe you want your tools to be orange backgrounds and deployables to be a green background. So here's a deployable mobile vehicle bay. It is nice and green. And now it's a nice luscious orange color. So yeah, if you are sick of the default colorings, you just want to be able to spice it up a bit because there are quite a few things that again, have a default blue color like this was default blue. This was default blue. Oh, rainbow PNG. Let's look at that one. Probably need to. Yeah, look, at, you got to open it back up. But look, all the colors, every color, all the delicious rainbow. You could customize it to a variety of colors instead of having so many things where the default is blue. So that was a quick and easy little mod right there. Just put it in. You're done. Let's look at the second mod, which is composite buildables and what this is is of course some extra buildables that we don't normally have now forgive me you've been following you know i have a lot of mods installed a couple of those being specifically the decorations mod which seems to be having me move around something right there uh so we get a lot of extra buildables i also have the fcs mod so we get all those but digging through you can see we've got a degazi planter bart torgal's planter from degazi base 1a and we got Degazi Planter Round from Degazi Base 1A. So it's basically square or round, whichever way you want to do it. So, you know, I'm not, this isn't permanent. We're just going to put it here. So it's basically the planters that, again, we find in the uh, Degazi Base on the Floating Island, which has, of course, built-in flora. If you want something... Like, you know, you put in the regular planner. Let's do the other planner, the one that is square, same style as the normal one. You are going to have to very specifically place stuff in to try and get this kind of look to it. So if you're just wanting something that lets you have a much more lush, vibrant looking planter set, you might want to check this one out. But wait, that's not all. Go to miscellaneous and scroll down a bit, depending on how many mods you've got installed. And you're going to find we got science bench number one. So you see, if you're not using other decorations mods, this would be useful because it's all inclusive. It's got everything on there. But if you're using, say, the decorations mod, which, of course, all these link below, you actually have some of these elements. You, you normally have the microscope, I think... Yeah, with the decorations mod, if you go and get, say, the enzyme, you should be able to place it down along with we get some paperwork. And, of course, we have these flasks we can get from the decorations mod. So it's not really anything extra special on that. Uh, we have, you know, we'll just put it in front of the picture. Uh, science bench number two. Again, nothing we can't do without the decorations mod. But now we also have these lab shelving and mushroom terrarium lab shelving unit which to be fair we have the empty shelves we have this where you have just the shelves themselves in the decorations mod but we don't get all the stuff inside of it that's actually the very nice touch i honestly like this version better than just having the empty shelves and that the composite buildables mod version of it is an actual buildable meaning you can deconstruct it as opposed to the one for the decorations mod being a placeable is you build it in the fabricator but you place it down which means you pick it up just like you would a microscope 
It's not, if you make it and you say you don't want, to want it anymore, you can't really get the resources back unless you add another mod to recycle it. Instead, you throw it in the trash. The good thing about this is at least you get the resources back. And again, you can see it's pretty much the same. Uh, however, I do notice now there is an outside frame added on top of it. It's like they just put some outer, like an outer touch to it. You can see where it just kind of blends these shelves in on the corners there. So they did add a little bit extra to make it enclosed. I don't remember if there's actually one that looks like this in the game, but it's, it's the same thing. It's just got stuff in it and it's got an outside piece. So last we have mushroom terrarium small and mushroom terrarium large. So you see only difference is the large is double the cost. Uh, but we're going to put this here. And you see it nicely fits to the roof of the large room, which is kind of nice. You see that? Uh, use mushroom terrarium. Okay, so production process, a uh, progress, pink cap, nan, speckled rattler nan, java cup nan. So this is actually going to produce some stuff. And let's do the large one, which uh, is it? Okay, it may just be the way the image, the the outline looked. It kind of looked like it was going to be a little bit too big. Okay, looking at the picture for the mod page, the large isn't just wider and, and bigger in terms of its width. So we'll throw in the glass dome, which raises the ceiling height. Uh, I don't know why that would specifically want to raise the ceiling height, but it does. Uh, and so now get it right dead center, put it in. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So we'll see if there's a difference in production speed, but as you can see, it actually goes all the way up to the top of the dome. So the large one for rooms with a glass dome, whether that's the multi-purpose room or the big room, if you use the glass dome, and you don't want it where the small one is kind of sitting below the ceiling. You want it to actually hook to the ceiling. Use the large one. So I've been waiting a little while and these have not produced anything yet, which I was thinking the pink cap Nan speckled rattler Nan might mean that, you know, there is showing not a percentage, but more of a count of how many were in there. But now that it's been sitting here for a while, it hasn't produced anything. I started looking if we go into options. And we go to composite buildables. You see, we got a few options here. We got uh, standard complexity, complex. So you can change the recipes. Uh, also, newly placed lantern trees are fruited. So you can go ahead and start getting fruit. And apparently you can adjust it so that the lantern fruit trees you place from the, uh, the other buildables, the little planter, multi-planter things, you can't actually get fruit from them. I'm going to put it at 50 because that was the, you can see the little marker right there. Put it at 50. And then mushroom terrariums overflow into bioreactors. We're going to turn that on and I'm just going to put this up to 20 because you know what? I want to go fast. I want to go fast. And so there we go. Now we have a percentage value for each one instead of the nan value. It's been long enough that this should be at least a few percent points up. Like if I planted the mushrooms in one of these, they would be growing already. Or if, you know, if I planted them on the, uh, the SCS hydroponic thing, if I planted it on one of these, I'd already have like, you know, actually let's look and see. I had got this down to 13 earlier after I ate some and it's back up to 20. So yeah, these are producing granted that's going a little faster than might be normal, but these don't seem to be producing at all, even though, yeah, even though I've set the production speed factor to 20 and overflow into bioreactors, well, there's no overflow. There's no flow at all right now. It is possible that maybe the change did not take effect because these were already built. I'm going to give benefit of the doubt and rebuild this one, maybe, because I turned it on after it was already built. You know, it... it didn't uh apply oh and you can see how much of a difference there is on the recipe there i didn't even look at that look look 
how much stuff you got to have for those. Oh, you, that too. You know, yeah. I forgot about the fact looking at the more complicated recipes. It does tie in with the idea that maybe, just maybe, because I built it before I turned this on, that that could have an effect on it because it obviously affected the materials that I got back from it after that. Oh, yeah, there you go. Look at that. Okay, so it does work. You just got to build it after you turn that on. All right, so rebuilding this got it to work. So it's nothing to do with the complexity of the recipe. If you want to make them more complex, you don't want it to be like, hey, here's some titanium and glass and I suddenly have mushrooms. You want it to actually be, you have to have mushrooms for it. You could do that. Uh, but that doesn't have an effect. The production is entirely based around, if you have it off when you build them, you got to deconstruct them, not partially, completely, and then replace them for the production to actually work. All right, this is 1%. You see how much slower it is now. That will take a while. The only reason you'd want to go like, hey, I'm going to put it at 20x, the, the production speed. So you can sit there and see it's like several percentage a second. See how fast this fills up. The only reason you want to do that is because you want to overflow to the bioreactors and you want to have infinite bioreactor power because these are not going to last very long in your bioreactors. So there you go. Two mods to check out. You've got the colorful inventories mod, which lets you change your inventories for everything. I see. Look at that. All these, all these change color and, uh, well, these didn't change color. I'm not sure why those didn't change color, but you go look food items, food item flame. Uh, I think that was supposed to actually be rainbow. I thought I said it too, but yeah, you can do custom color changes. If you want something, just you want something that looks a little nicer on your inventory, or you just want to be able to quickly see a type of item compared to the normal, like most stuff having that blue background, really useful. Of course, linked below if you want to check it out. And then we have the composite buildables, which gives you, well, you know, these, the lantern tree garden setups from the Degazi bases, which will function as actual lantern trees. So you can get some nice yummy lantern tree fruit. You also then get the science bench, which uh, those, yeah, you can build those yourself. You can literally just build the normal countertop and for using the decorations mod, pretty much cover all of these uh, toppings for them but what you don't get is of course the filled in lab shelving unit like you get here this is the decorations mod this is the composite buildables mod so you might want this mod just because you like the way this looks and then you have the mushroom terrariums which will produce mushrooms at whatever speed you want to turn it up to up to 20x the normal speed for it and overflow in the bioreactors if you just want to do that but personally I would use these for decoration. If you want bioreactor power, just better ACU. It's, it's a better option. Produce tons of Oculus. You'll have way more power than dealing with mushrooms. 